Okay, so I'm gonna admit today's video might be a little bit chatty, just kinda hang out with me, but I swear there's a point in the midst of all my ramblings. Anyway, the other day I was scrolling on Poshmark, which for those of you who don't know, is this secondhand selling app. And I found these beautiful brown leather boots and they were cowboy boots. Honestly, I have been on the hunt for cowboy boots that work for me forever. I remember in college, I even bought these brown leather cowboy boots at a thrift store that were, you know, just a few bucks basically, but they were too big and I literally stuffed the toe with, I think, newspaper or something to make them work. Anyway, fast forward to recently, I saw these beautiful leather boots. At first, I just liked it and I didn't do anything about it, but then a few days later, I went back and I was looking at them and I'll admit, I rather impulsively ordered them. Now, in my defense, they were really affordable. They were like 30 or 40 bucks, somewhere in that range. And they were secondhand and they were my size. And I don't know, I impulsively was like, maybe this will be the pair that finally works. Well, what do you think happened? I'm guessing you're gonna think that the point of this is that I impulsively bought them and that they didn't work and the lesson is not to impulsively buy, but you're wrong. They are gorgeous. They're everything I wanted. They're kind of minimal and sleek. I don't know if it's true, but on the posting, it said they were from the 80s. And what's so great is when I slipped them on, they fit like a glove. Honestly, part of this is I just wanted to share the joy. It's like, I've always dreamed of having a really great pair of cowboy boots. And now I have this vintage pair that I feel like, I know it's such a stereotype, but they just don't make things the way they used to in general. Like if they've lasted since the 80s, they'll last me a while. And they're also already broken in. It just is so exciting and I wanted to share the joy. But also there's a point to this. I just wanted to bring up the whole concept of secondhand shopping and that if you are someone like me who has historically had a sticky brain, I am a collector. I like to gather things. I find it satisfying. And especially with things like clothing or home items, it is so exciting to me when I find something that really works. But that's also dangerous because then that tempts me to shop more and it's like you don't always have that good outcome and then you end up buying things that you don't need. But overall, I was talking to my sister the other day about these boots and we were just chatting about how, you know what, we just want to start really focusing on secondhand or vintage shopping and just mostly try to do that instead of just shopping for new things all the time because realistically, it's way better for the environment. I think people forget how much of our waste is really created by fast fashion. It is spooky if you go online and you look at videos of piles of clothes that have been thrown away. It really is kind of depressing. Another thing is quite often you end up getting cuter stuff if they're kind of one of a kind. And sometimes in vintage stores, it's like you find more unique pieces because they're the pieces that have withstood the curation of especially certain thrift stores or secondhand stores. And quite often they are more one of a kind, or at least they feel more one of a kind to you. And just think for a second about that one friend you have who always seems stylish and has kind of kooky or interesting outfits. For me, I think of my friend Amy, shout out to her. She probably won't watch this video, but there's always that one person who is always stylish, always looks good. And you ask them where they got something and they're like, I thrifted it or I bought it secondhand at such and such store. And it is just such a reminder that we assume that more expensive means better or better fashion, when in reality, that's just not the case. Quite often, you can have great style for way less if you just buy secondhand. And I don't know, I was thinking about this more, especially because my husband and I are going through a period where we're like a little more financially tight because my podcasting job is gonna end soon. He's in fellowship for cardiology, which means he's being paid a salary that's more of like a training salary. And now we have a baby, so it's just a little tighter and we have to pay the mortgage every month and we have to, you know, survive. And also we just have like a bunch of weddings coming up that costs money too, so we're just, really tighter on money right now. And my sister and I were just talking about, you know what, why don't we just purchase secondhand for a while? And I guess I just wanted to come on here and invite anybody else who wants to do this with me, where maybe just for a while, we try to just shop secondhand. And what's great about it too, is that you can even browse online on 
places like Poshmark and still have that experience of like scrolling on your phone and looking at things. And quite often you can actually buy designer or better quality if you're buying secondhand. I know I've also purchased a Claire V purse that I really, really love. And I bought it on Poshmark secondhand and I feel no differently about it as if I had bought it new. Like I've had it for long enough that I've forgotten almost that I bought it secondhand. And I think part of it is opening your mindset to the possibility of secondhand and not only being okay with it, but embracing it and getting excited about it. And that's what I'm trying to do because realistically, secondhand stuff is great. We're being less wasteful, we're not hurting the environment, and we can get excited about those pieces and find more one-of-a-kind pieces. Now, one thing I will say is something that gets in the way for me with secondhand shopping is the frustration that it's harder to return things, because I am a returner. I'm somebody that does go through the effort of returning the package so that I can get my money back. If it's important to you, you can always find a close by vintage shop in your area that will purchase certain items off of you if they're good enough quality, as well as you can reposh them or sell them on Poshmark. And that is a super easy process. I do have a video on Poshmark selling where you don't have to pay for anything, you know, the person who buys it often pays for the shipping, but you just print out a shipping label and send it off via USPS, at least here in the US. So it's just a great reminder. That's also a barrier to me sometimes for secondhand shopping. It's like, will I just miss out on the money if it doesn't work because it is kind of one of a kind? But honestly, I gotta remind myself if I just put a little effort into reselling it online or selling it to a local store, it might not actually be that bad of a loss. I also wanna share a couple of great categories of things that I've purchased secondhand, which have worked out really well for me are A, leather boots. I remember I bought some of my favorite black leather boots at a secondhand shop in Copenhagen when I studied abroad there in college many years ago at this point. But those black leather boots have served me so well and they were one of a kind. And it's like I get to be a part of the boot story. Just the way our home is over 100 years old at this point, and I get to be a part of the story of the home. Maybe in a weird way that's over idolizing objects or things, physical things, but there is something beautiful about the history of a piece. If it's a really good quality piece, it's a nice thought to think you're just a little part of this object's life and the joy it will bring to a variety of people. Another category that's great to buy secondhand in my experience is winter coats. I live in Minnesota and honestly, you just gotta wear a big puffy coat all the time here in the winter, realistically. Honestly, some of the best coats I've bought have been secondhand or on Poshmark. And it's an easy way to get a better, warmer coat from a better company than going out and buying it new. And honestly, these coats are perfectly good. Another one related to that, I guess I'm thinking about winter because it's coming up pretty soon, is winter boots. Winter boots is another one where I've purchased numerous online. And I think especially for winter boots, it's like quite often they're just kind of annoying. You got to buy them if you live in a cold place, but they're not necessarily the cutest. So maybe you don't wanna spend as much money on them anyway, and I think those are a great category to purchase secondhand because of that. And then also if you get bored of your boots or whatever, it's easier to just like get new ones. Also denim jackets or denim jeans in general, if you wanna get something vintage and kind of worn in or oversized, I think shopping online is a great option for that. Also another great one, vintage belts. It's such a great way to bring your outfit to life if you wear a cute belt that's actually vintage and unique and one of a kind. And quite often belts can be weirdly expensive in normal life, so buying them secondhand I think is a great way to enhance an outfit but also do it on a budget. Also silk blouses. There is something about a beautiful vintage silk blouse that just makes my heart go pitter patter. I don't know what it is. A beautiful silk blouse. I'm probably not gonna buy new, at least not very often and at least not right now. But if I buy it secondhand, I'm still getting the quality fabrics and I'm still getting something that's unique and expensive feeling, but I'm getting it at a fraction of the price. 
Anyway, at this point, I'm kind of repeating myself, and this is a very short and simple chatty video, but I just wanted to spread the reminder that vintage shopping is an option. I'm personally gonna try to do a bit more of it in the near future, and maybe I'll kind of let you know how that process goes. I think I'm just kind of on a high after these gorgeous boots arrived, but it is such a reminder that if you just make the right purchase, it can work out so well and be way better than that really expensive new pair of boots that you bought are. You know, did that sentence make sense? I don't know. It's like, these are already worn in. They're easier to wear. I'm gonna enjoy them more. They look cooler because they're worn in. And ultimately, when I think about style, a lot of it is about seeming authentic. People who wear more worn in things and even outfit repeat, quite often they're the ones with more style or they feel like they have more style. And I wanna be more that type of person. Even if I outfit repeat more or I'm wearing something that looks a little worn in, I'm gonna feel more real. You know what I mean? That's what I see in other people. I don't necessarily like things that look shiny and brand new. I like things that look worn in and like they're well loved. And that's the kind of style I want to pursue more. Anyway, I would love to hear also tips on online vintage stores that are the best, secondhand websites that you like, because now I'm on the prowl for some of these good ones. Maybe I'll link a couple below of the cutest online vintage shops that I really like. They're good secrets, so I'm a little afraid to share them with you, but spread the love, you know? And also let me know about what types of things you like to buy secondhand, because that might also jog my thinking and inspire me. So sorry I'm being high maintenance and asking for all this advice, but I'd love to hear all your ideas because I really want to get in this mindset of secondhand shopping. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. It's a great way to support the channel and I will know if you like this kind of off the beaten path type of video that I don't normally make. Anyway, thank you so much for spending this little bit of time with me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!